Bokuto character pack confirmed. I'm gonna get him five out of five, the Alright, what is going on you guys? This is your boy the Death Smasher and welcome back to yet another Bleach Brave Souls video and I know I am super late with this actual video because I didn't have time to pretty much wait for the English live stream to live react. Now I did um try to initially do a live reaction for the Japanese live stream, but there was just way too many things going on that I couldn't really uh, process through my head, and because it was hard to, you know, have the precise translations, I decided to pretty much, you know, remake the video, live react to the English live stream, and uh, basically highlight everything that needs to be said about the upcoming arena mode, and uh, yeah, let us go ahead and uh, begin. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and skim through the actual thing, so, uh, yeah. We're obviously gonna be getting the preview of the arena mode, so let me just go ahead and scroll, th scroll through. Excuse me, the stuttering. Plague! <laughs> Bro, I love the actual misspell. I swear to god, Caleb does not know how to even write English. Play again, competitors, in real time in this mode. It's play against competitors! Freaking Caleb. Only six star characters are allowed in this group battle of 3v3. Defeat as many enemies as you can within the three minute time limit. Victory will go to the team with the highest score. Collaborating with your allies will be your key to victory. Try to be number one while playing with Bleach fans worldwide. So yeah, basically we got ourselves a nice little explanation of what the arena mode is. And uh, yeah, let us just go ahead and uh, get through the rest of the actual content. Okay, so this is basically uh, the quest startup screen where you basically, you know, have you as the main player and then the other uh, two uh, allies that you have as a friend. And notice how uh, we actually have character ranks now. This is new that is actually added into the game. That being said, let us go ahead and listen through the actual um, uh, live stream. So, yeah. Basically what I just explained. So when there's nobody in here, right. there will be uh, allies, yeah. You're an invite button. You press the invite button, and you can invite people online who are your friends or mm -hmm. in your guild. Okay, perfect. So right here, we already know from the top of our heads, we can invite not just guild members, but also friends individually, which is very nice since it, this is very co-op based. That is so funny. That is so funny. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for him. Oh yeah, obviously we need to press the blue button. Let's just go ahead and scroll through. And this is the gameplay. Now, I already did a video talking about this, but let's just go through it. That being said, um, it does say NPC. So the sad thing about the arena mode is that uh, the uh, players you go up against are basically going to be bots, which is sad. I'm gonna be real here. That is what disappoints me about this game mode because it's just typical PvE content at the end of the day, literally. What do you mean blue has less points? The fuck? Yeah, okay. basically. You, you are playing <laughs> against like a artificial intelligence, right? AI. Yeah, they're they're made with the other groups, okay. and um, those will get stronger and stronger as you keep you killing them. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. I don't know how to explain this well. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna show you the English screen in a second. Yeah. So and yeah, basically. This yeah. Image, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory that you see that the red is larger than the blue, and that's because they have more points. Then there's also this orange gauge, which is kind of like your position. Which one? Um, ah, so like they if, want me. Okay, so the orange uh, thing right here is the position. All right. If you keep dying, if you keep getting killed, then you 
your gauge, that yellow, mm. that orange thing, will keep going down. Mm -hmm. um, and then also, if you can't clear this, the next thing that I show you, which is an arena mission, mm -hmm. if you can't clear... Okay, so here we have arena missions. ...give damage to that gauge. So when that cage gets completely wiped out, mm -hmm. then... Yeah, this is interesting how we have arena missions. All right. Steel. I don't know the official English yet. Score steel. Steel score. I don't know. You will get 30%. <laughs> of uh -huh. the other uh, person's points. Oh, okay, if okay, you can right. make that gauge go down all the way. Oh, okay. That oh, orange, right. That orange. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And the ways to it. do that are by killing their NPC bosses mm -hmm. repeatedly and quickly, mm -hmm. and then also by completing these missions. Yeah, basically what she uh, just explained. So mm -hmm. now let's go through the actual gameplay. So far, it's actually quite interesting. I'm not gonna lie. I killed somebody, and then I killed another person. <laughs> but damn, this is actually kind of interesting. I'm not gonna lie. The map is definitely wide, so it does give room for actual play. Nice. Oh, it changes colors. Okay, I did not know that because I only skimmed through the uh, Japanese live stream. Also, because, you know, I didn't understand Japanese, so yeah. Yeah, even the bosses highlight uh, the strong attack indicator, so yeah, that is important to note. Alright, let's just go uh, through. Wait, hold on. What was that? That was an arena mission? Oh, okay, we got an arena mission. Defeat 20 enemies, okay. So that's just how they work, alright. Arena, arena mission failed, and with that, obviously, hold on. Yeah, look at that damage that uh, the uh, player team took. Damn. It's important that you guys do the player missions. <laughs> alright. Let's just uh, scroll through. Yeah, that's the arena mode. I think it's fun. I actually don't mind the game mode, but I would have preferred if we could actually fight against actual players in real time because that would have been way more awesome. But instead, not really. It's a bit unfortunate, but you know, I can't really complain. Let me just go ahead and skim through. And then here's uh, something that is new. We are going to be getting from the arena mode a brand new character strengthening system which is basically going to be catered to the brand new arena mode and that being said let us just go ahead and watch through it yeah. that people who can get around this map fast uh probably good but there's also different ways that you can strengthen your character yeah in the arena. so like the only absolute necessary thing is to be a six star mm -hmm. and obviously you have your soul trait right but then on top of that there's an arena trait. Um, so this arena trait is right. in the Japanese. It says uh, damage taken 10% down. Basically damage reduction. 10% so damage, re damage reduction, excuse me. That can be six star. We'll have an arena trait, which I don't know. I can't tell you what the arena trait is. Basically every single six star will have the arena soul trait, um, as well as the uh, special move level bonus. All right, at rank five. And that is the character rank thing there, yeah, just which you see like one. zero to a hundred, zero mm -hmm. above hundred. Right. Mm -hmm. And then uh, also special move level uh, will give you a bonus, a stat bonus, which here it says all stats four percent up, uh, and that is level one. Uh, and then here it says right. arena ability. It, this arena ability is all stats five percent up. And that also has a button there that says, like, upgrade. Mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, you can upgrade the arena ability, okay. Arena ability, but it's, like, level-based, too. Like, there's level on that, too. Yeah, okay, so you do need to work on that. <laughs> that now, how excessive will the grind be? I'm wondering. Yeah. So there's, like, a whole different area. All right, let's just go through. Okay, here, this is interesting. Okay, so basically here, 
you're not going to be using accessories or links, but instead you use um, support link slots. All right, makes sense. Um, so, yeah, it's not the soul trait, it's arena trait. So I don't know what any of my characters, like what their trait will be until the mode goes live, and then you can see what. Yeah, pretty much. And then if Basically, every single character will get a different arena trait. Like add, you know, uh, 90 points to SP or something like that, like the, or 30 to focus. Damn, this is going to change the way of how we're going to build our characters, which is actually crazy. I'm not going to lie. I like this kind of game mode. Alright, let's just move through it. this now they're just talking. Okay, this is interesting. Hold on. Yeah, basically, again, on the character ranks. Also, um, notice how we actually have... A uh, free to play uh, mind Ichigo right here. I'm getting a very good feeling that Caleb will soon give us an event where we can actually get this Ichigo as part of the arena release celebration. I think I could be wrong, but like we'll just have to wait and find out. Okay. Um, and then right. Yeah, the character. You saw that there was a, a ranking area in that uh, home screen, the initial home screen. So the, the rank came yeah, basically what they said. Okay, here's another new uh, uh, part to the actual arena mode. Uh, here's arena levels. Okay, basically what uh, the way of how we'll be able to level it up. Unlocks abilities, all right. Okay. Right. And uh, this item is something that you get by playing the arena. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, that much was already obvious about how you can only get this item th just by playing arena mode, and that's perfectly fine. Um, and that's all I can say for now. I don't know more. But, uh, so here's a kind of a chance oh, for... Oh, the so I think... Thing. Yeah, this is the rankings, the leaderboards and whatnot of how it works. I don't think it really matters too much, so I'm just going to skim through. Okay. And here we have actually have the arena rewards. Okay. From what I'm guessing is that from the amount of uh, trophies you get, you do get 50 orbs. Like, for example, 100 trophies, you get 50. Then another 200, it's basically uh, 50. And then yet another 250 and then 500 you basically get 50, so like, either way, good way to pretty much get a lot more orbs now, which is crazy. Yeah, basically what I just explained. Alright, let's just go through this. And then, ar arena rewards. Oh, okay. Uh, is actually uh, bought with spirit orbs. Oh, we, oh okay. Yeah. Really? You have to use spirit orbs to buy stuff? Hmm. Uh, okay, we'll just have to see what we can buy with it. If you have spirit orbs that, I don't know, you don't want to spend elsewhere, and you want the rewards here, then you can spend the spirit orbs here. I don't think anyone's going to want to spend 3,500 orbs just for one six-star ticket. If I'm being 100% honest, I don't think anyone is going to do that, literally. But we don't know how many we'll need for that. Yeah, it's a bit unclear. We'll find out by the time uh, the game mode comes out. Just go through here. 
And then we have the arena release campaign, get six six star characters. Uh, I'm assuming that we'll basically be able to like, I don't know. Obviously, it's not going to be just these uh, six characters. I'm assuming this is a random type of uh, ticket pool. I'm assuming we do get six six star tickets in a way that we can pretty much, you know, pull for six star units. Right, right. And then we get to uh, choose a six star summons arena release. Now, the one thing that is very important to note is that this isn't like the uh, traditional choose a six star summons where you basically pick 10 characters and get one character uh, chosen by your own pool that you make. Here it's choose five, get one. Now, this is going to be very interesting because for when it comes to getting the unit you want, you have a much higher chance than being able to do so with the traditional choose a six star summons where you pick 10 characters and get one. However, I do feel like that uh, the actual uh, pool of characters won't be as big as per se uh, the traditional choose a six star. So I'm guessing like, for example, we have um, Fierce Battle Ichigo right here. I don't think the choose a six star summons pool will go any further than this fierce battle Ichigo right here. So no Machine Society Baruka, uh, no um, Desert Society characters and whatnot. I could be wrong, which by the way, I hope I'm wrong, but I don't think we'll see the likes of the fifth anniversary characters at the very least. I think they'll just save them for when we get choose a six star summons for the sixth anniversary. That's what I think that they'll pretty much do. So yeah. We just don't have the pool announced and whatnot. And then obviously uh, we have uh, the um, retweet camping where if the uh, arena celebration uh, gets over 4,000 retweets, every single one of us will be able to get one uh, six star summons ticket arena edition. Now keep in mind that this is not a selector ticket and you just get one random character generated out of the six star ticket. So. Just so you guys know, and you pretty much keep this in mind and whatnot, so... Uh, yeah. Other than that, <laughs> I think I'm definitely gonna have to cancel out my, uh, state of the game, uh, video. And just, you know, not make it anymore, because I'm not gonna lie, the arena mode is definitely gonna bring some light into the game. It's gonna have players play the game once again, and hopefully have a fun time, if I'm being honest. Because I still think it's better than PvP, because you're actually going to be... Uh, using your character and it's gonna be a fun mode overall now the grind I do think it's gonna be somewhat a bit excessive from my understanding but at the same time it's like you can pretty much get these uh, exact rewards just by playing arena mode so like eh, this is just a fun mode to pretty much play with your friends and whatnot so you know what I take it for what it is like at the end of the day, it's still nice, and it is great that we actually got an actual campaign for it, because Epic Raids, I know for damn sure we did not get an exact campaign like this. The co-op revamp, we did not really get that, but we did get ourselves a tech special move source uh, throughout that year. So, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see what K-Lab will do. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm sorry if I'm super, super, super late. It's just that I didn't have time to uh, record this thing because I was out away from home all day. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button, share this video with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, and hit the bell notification so that way you guys are up to date with my most recent videos. This has been your boy, The Death Smasher, and uh, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out, lads.